What's going on all my cool cats and kittens? Welcome back to the Snowcat channel. See what I did there, Tiger King? <laughs> We're out on the Fluid Freeride Mantis. I'm redoing the last video I did because it was so bad. It was so, so bad. Don't even know why I uploaded it, to be honest. Oh, she's a little dirty. No. So I have 133 kilometers on her now. Way more than the last video, so I know much more about it. Um, we came down here last time and it was it was quite uh, quite dark and I had the GoPro in the wrong setting so it's my bad my bad my bad I get looks on this thing because I'm wearing my bike helmet uh, and gloves I think is more the reason why I get looks than I do the actual scooter itself right now I'm in single motor mode which means it's the rear motor only the reason I'm doing this I don't need the acceleration right now I want to get more distance more range So that's done with the toggle buttons right here. So just a quick little rundown of what this thing is and what you get. It is a dual motor, 1,000 watts, so 2,000 watts total, scooter that goes 65 kilometers per hour. I think it's like 40 miles an hour. Um, and because it's dual motor, the acceleration is ridiculous. It freaking goes. All my friends that get on it, they just like pull back, you know, because they're not used to the speed. Control through front and rear brake and the throttle right here on my index finger. What's nice is it does have regenerative braking, so it regens. So instead of using the discs, it regens. Oh yeah, they still have it closed. This is crazy. So yeah, so instead of using the brakes, it regens the battery. It gives you a little bit more juice. But look at this. That's right, they close the roads here in my city for social distancing and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna cruise down the street here. That's gonna be a wicked thumbnail. Thank you. So put it in dual motor mode so we get some speeds here. And we're gonna pass cars. That's so funny. What oh, was it, that lady? They're going 50 Ks right now, my guys. <laughs> and it can go a little faster than that. But you take up a lot of juice though to go that kind of speed. Get off your phone! <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious right here. Right here, there's the thumbnail. Cruising with cars, baby! And passing cars. There you go, that's how fast this scooter is, boys and girls. 60 kilometers an hour. It's so, it is so fast. Oh, you can hear it in my voice. I'm like a little schoolgirl. The brakes are so good. Oh, yeah. That's a good picture. I saw that. <laughs> it's so weird. Like I, you cannot allow down here as a cyclist, a pedestrian. You're not allowed down here. So it's they close the. This is for cars. So it's kind of cool that we get to go down there. That's so cool. So yeah, about the scooter, it goes 65 kph, it goes roughly 50 kilometers. This is the base model, there's two versions, there's a higher end version and a lower end version. This is the base model, the other version gets a better battery, yeah, bigger battery, different manufacturer. It's also a little bit more money. But yeah, this is from Fluid Freeride from Florida, it's called the Mantis. I love it, I go on grocery runs now, I get beer with it, 
I absolutely love it. It's the shit. It gets so much attention. Everyone asks about it, where I got it. I just roll into stores with it because I don't want to leave it outside. How do you even know how fast I'm going? <laughs> So the cool thing about dual motor is that yes, it's got the speeds, but the dual motor gets you up hills, man. Like hills that like just tire you out. You just go straight up them. It's sick. And to get full speed, full acceleration, you need dual motor. But again, that takes the uh, that takes all the juice out. So you get more range in in single motor mode, which I'm running in right now. Oh, this is sick. This is my kind of exercise. <laughs> my kind of exercise. Normally I turn left here. Go across the bridge to the, to the zoo, but... Let's go this side. What gets people the most when they try it out is how beefy this thing is. Like, it's not your lime scooter. It's got suspension. It's got air tires. It's uh, pneumatic tires, I guess. It's not your not your average lime scoots. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, this side's boring compared to that side. I like the other side way better. Cause this side's all under construction. And that goes into Inglewood, so I'm gonna go the other side. Oh, it's so nice outside, guys, finally. So yeah, so a kickstand, it's got disc, disc brakes front and rear. This side's obviously on this side. Right there. Suspension, red springs, this one's all black. There's a version you can get internationally, it's, it's uh, got red on it, which I don't like. This one's so much thicker. The motors are actually inside the wheels, hub motors. Then the controller right here, this gets you your speed, your voltage, what gear you're in, how long your trip has been. So if we're going 10 kilometers this trip, your voltage, which you keep an eye on uh, because the battery gauge isn't very accurate. You have to watch your voltage, which is more important. Grips, it's got lights on it, which the last video really showed off. I can't really show them on this video. Your turbo eco, which is just uh, kind of your speed. I keep it on turbo and then single motor is out dual motor is in and that's how you control that everyone thinks i'm psycho just talking to myself whoa 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 you guys see that <laughs> nearly took on my ankle god damn scooter rider viciously attacked during lockdown well it's good to get some vitamin d though my pasty canadian arms tell you that much the tasty Canadianness so right here uphill one motor it's quite slow turbo let's go Another scooter vlog. Oh, that's what's so nice too. You don't have to go freaking fast as hell. Like it's just good for the hills. Like doing 65 kph down here, man, you're just getting so much shit, you know? Don't worry, I'm a responsible adult. Responsible snowcat, just going for little scoots. Everyone's like, oh, scooter. Man, all the playgrounds are closed, look. So yeah guys, 
I could go for a ride on my bike, but I went yesterday and I'm a little sore from the first time doing a, a big ride like that. Plus the ground's still kind of cool and I had a little scary moment, not gonna lie, on a on an off-ramp. So I'm kind of bitching out, for lack of a better word. So I thought to take the old scoots instead. Oh, there is one this side. I knew it. Let's keep on going. I think I can get to Deerfoot from here. Can't go too far though. I need to make sure I get back to my my start spot. That is a lot of water right there. That's one thing though. It's not waterproof. So you have to be careful. So here's where I have to turn on dual motor, for example. Like what scooter do you know accelerates up a hill like that? <laughs> I know the GoPro's gonna make it seem not that crazy, but trust me, a Lime scooter wouldn't get me up there, that's for sure. My T-H-I-C-C-S-C-A-S-S. Yes, we have speed limits everywhere, including the bike paths. <laughs> Welcome to where I live. Is there anything better to do than go for a scoots ride? I don't think so. The world's cleanest driver right there, boys and girls. That's a nice house though. Very, I bet you that's very expensive, like 800, 900, a million. Something like that down here. One thing is you can't take your hands off the handlebar, man. Even one, because it wobbles. like. It's it's scary. I've had a few scary moments where I thought I was going down for sure just to adjust my helmet or adjust something or the music or the earbuds and then it starts to go for a crazy wobble. So you definitely have to keep your hands. So that's why you can have one one or two fingers on the brakes, one on the throttle, and then I keep the rest of my fingers tightly gripping. more curves in these roads than we have for the roads for our motorcycles, you know? <laughs> they don't know, the, the, the helmet is, is more what they look at because I can't see my face, I got my dark tint on. So I think the helmet is more than the actual scooter because I got my big bike helmet on. That guy's living there. He has a suitcase just in the middle. This is the future. Like for some things around my neighborhood, I like, go for a haircut or I go to the barber shop, you know, just down the street. I go for liquor. I go meet some buddies at the local pub, you know. It's crazy. I don't take my car anymore. I just take this thing. Don't have to uh, take out my 3,000 pound vehicle just to go, you know, for small errands now. It's kind of cool. It's definitely going to change the way I live this summer, I think, that's for sure. And I can tell you, it's fast. And I'll try and get someone to come with me on my e-bike that I have as well. Get some footage of this thing rolling, but you look, you look hella cool, that's for sure. See, now as those people will open her up a little bit. That is a gorgeous house right there. I think I've come all the way. Uh, what a good snow cat, comes to a stop. I've come all the way now to the Saddle Dome. Somewhere, somewhere around here. There goes 55. 
is 60. Sixty-two. It should go a little faster, but I'm a little chunky. I'm 186 right now. <laughs> Look at that! I'm doing triple the speed limit. Going to jail, Snowcat. Going to jail. I just turned around. Look at that city from here, man. I haven't seen it from this angle. That's pure. That is pretty. It's not like an off-road model, but you can take like, like trails, which is nice. <laughs> Suspension's good, tires are good. Definitely not a lime scooter. The suspension is what makes it... It's insane. Got to be so careful down here. Look at that guy thinking he's a cyclist, motorcyclist. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to cruise back to my car, load up, go home, edit the video, get it out to you right away. There's nothing else to do. Hope you guys are staying safe. Thanks for coming back and watching the videos. As always, leave a like rating for me. I never asked for that, but I need it. Some of my videos aren't getting out to my subscribers, I've been told. So, that's no bueno. She looked at me, I'd still cross. <laughs> okay. Okay, lady. Good thing you're hot, and I'm not mad at you. Anyways, leave a like rating. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And we'll see you on the next uh, scooter or motor vlog. I haven't decided yet which is going to be. I'll do my little peace sign, but I can't let my hand off the thing. <laughs> okay, I'll try it here on the smooth ground here. Okay, you guys. Whoop. Whoop. Peace. On this trip, we did 28.1 kilometers. And it's showing me the, just a little hair left. And the voltage is at 57. I don't think you're supposed to go below... 50 something but yeah there you go